I was taking physics as a senior and I like math and I like my physics class a lot and someone suggested uh, why don't you be an engineer? I was like, what's an engineer? I'm a fourth year civil engineering student. An aerospace engineer. I'm a third year CSU um, major. Chemical engineering. I'm a materials engineer. I'm an electrical engineering biomed option. For the first time that I came to see it, uh, I wanted to come here. You see, like, it wasn't my first choice, and it's always been. I know, I know. I also got into Berkeley, but I didn't want Berkeley just because it was too odd for me. I like the urbanness of UCLA. I'm from Northern California, so UCLA is close enough to home that I can go home when I need to, when I feel homesick, but at the same time, it's far enough away that I get away from my parents a little bit. I like the environment around here. It's just it's very dynamic. Different types of people coming in, coming out. LA is quite different. It's a lot bigger. There's a lot more stuff to do. I like how UCLA has its own college town in Westwood and how you're able to walk there and get food to eat, look at movie stars, go to movie premieres, and get cheap cookies at Didi Reese. <laughs> a lot more people, a lot more traffic, but it's all adds to your college experience. We have shuttles that actually take students from Ackerman turnaround to back to the apartments and back to the dorms after 6 p.m. And they run, I think, every 15 minutes. And at night, if you're walking home alone and you want an escort, you can always call a CSO and they'll actually walk you home. It definitely feels really safe at UCLA. I like how UCLA looks like a college campus. Um, all the brick buildings, the Powell Library, and Royce, and Jan Steps. It makes a homework set so much easier if you have eight problems left to do and you can just go out and sit on a sunny patch of grass. My friend and I, we walked to Drake Stadium, which is near the dorms, and I just sat on top of the steps and I was looking at all the, all the whole campus and I realized this is a pretty cool place and I, I just, it sank. Yeah. I wasn't single at the time, but I was like, hey, the girls are pretty here too, so it might, it might work out. Living on campus is really beneficial, like we'll just roll out of bed and come to our early engineering classes and stuff. Oh yeah, definitely you should live in the, we're not allowed to call them dorms because they're res halls. Um, anybody from more around saw this video and if I called it dorms they'd kill me. So, um, so yeah, definitely you want to live in there. I still have friends from first year um, and this is five years later that I met on my dorm floor. I called it a dorm. It has a good program compared to the other schools. My name is Jacqueline Silva. I graduated in 2001 with my Bachelor in Science in Electrical Engineering. I currently work for Northrop Grumman. Um, I work as a communication system engineer and I felt that I had a strong technical background. Um, I pretty much knew the basics so when I got to time to take master's classes I knew the basics was able to dive right into whatever advanced topic they were discussing. And the same goes for work. I had a strong background. Um, I was pretty well-rounded well so I was able to dive right in and come up to speed on whatever they were tasking me with. The type of faculty we have here, the type of um, support we have here, a lot of help to graduate. Last Thursday I went to go find a professor because I needed help with homework before I had to turn it in that day. And he was out of his office. So I went to our student lounge and I found nine other students sitting around talking over the same homework and I just sat down and you know just everyone is helping each other and it's definitely very friendly in that sense. And just the engineering work around here is it's, it's also very dynamic. Everyone's trying to build something. People that it's so into what they're doing. You can connect with other engineers. It's good to go to school with people who you can learn something from. It's close to home, it's affordable, and as soon as I got accepted here, I got calls from people telling me to come here, like showing me around, showing me that like they cared about me and like how I did here in engineering. The interaction with professors was nice. All of the faculty is very interested in your future and wants you to succeed. UCLA is a big research school, so there's a lot of opportunities to work with professors, which is also a really good way to put something on your resume. <laughs> Dude! Check this out. 17 inch, baby. <laughs> The resources here are great. I get all these computer access with really high speed computer. There's plenty of computers to go around. Pretty spaced out so you can actually do your work and program at the same time. Basically, when I compared schools, UCLA by far had the best 
programs for ensuring diversity in the major and I knew that engineering was really going to be tough but I knew that I had to find a school that would support me and UCLA definitely had the best presentation of support from various organizations. We had industry representatives come in, um, take a look at our resumes, um, give us tips on how to make them better. Uh, we had an info session, we invited Microsoft to come and talk about opportunities uh, working at Microsoft as, with an internship and also possibly full time. Uh, and the particular day that the recruiter came out was Bill Gates' birthday, so we had a cake uh, for all of the people who came with a picture of Bill Gates on it. And we also had an uh, info session with Amgen. Amgen's another company, it's a biotechnology company, but they also came out and talked about opportunities for internships also. Engineering students are grouped into specific majors and they don't really see how that major is applicable to industry. And so um, when we invite these reps to come speak to us, they, they tell us a little bit more about the job and how an engineer contributes to the products that they make. Um, they get name recognition so that the students will think about working for their company when they start looking for jobs and then also the students get a little bit of exposure as to what's available out there um, and what they can actually do with their major. Come on Elena, please, I'm trying to have a serious interview. <laughs> no, um, you know what they say, they can't spell geek without double E. I think it's great how engineers um, know how to study first of all because it's a really hard curriculum. What? There is the other side of life, too. It's a great quality of the UCLA students that they're, they're t t typically nerds undercover and that they're, they're high achievers, they're academically, you know, they challenge themselves and they're you know, very smart and outgoing, but at the same time, they have a very packed and involved extracurricular. In athletics or they, you know, are very involved in, their, in the community or in a club, and it's, you know, I think that's very important for a well-rounded uh, education. Well, I'm managing the baseball team right now. Concrete canoes, steel bridge, um, meetings, field trip. We're on the annual Nesby ski trip. With we're who? up here in Big Bear with Solus and Aces tri -org event. And we're up here at Snow Summit waiting to get our lift tickets right now. So far, it's a good time. It can be fun, so don't be worried about that. It can be enjoyable, so yeah, don't sweat it if you start to enjoy it. Engineers are nerds, uh, you know, it's just the way we have to study. Just have to keep up with work, but besides that, you do make time for, for other things. Everyone is always so surprised to find out that we're engineers, and they really don't believe it. I mean, I've had several people actually quiz me on engineering stuff and ask me, oh, what's the first law of thermodynamics? And I'm like, I can't believe you're asking me this. I mean, I don't think that you have to fit a certain stereotype. And I think it's actually better if you don't, because you're able to really surprise people and surpass people's expectations. The thing about UCLA is that it's not just good in one thing, it's good in so many things. There's so much to do that I haven't done it all yet. Engineering hasn't been my whole life. I've done plenty. The only reason I really love UCLA is because I got to experience everything. I'm a history major also. You can really interact with a lot of students that have interests similar to yours. If you choose engineering, you're not just stuck in one field for the rest of your life. It, it actually can open a lot of doors to a lot of different careers. There's a lot of UCLA alumni in the company, so they always uh, like to help you out, like to get you hired. <laughs> we have an annual event called Evening with Industry. About 30 companies come every year and we set up the students with the company of their choice and you sit at a table and you kind of have a formal dinner and you can talk to the company representatives and network. Oh, that's the head TA. That's a CS head TA. Please get him. <laughs> yes. Hi, right, this is a CS head TA, all right? He just recently got into Microsoft. How does it feel like? It feels great, man. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. I, mean. I knew a person, the previous ATA, actually works for Microsoft, and he uh, recommended me to them. I work for the city of Beverly Hills. I'm MWH Global, and my first year it was at the Los Angeles County Sanitation Districts, and it was also through ASC. Uh, when I graduate, I got a full time offer at Raytheon Corporation. We're very loyal to our alumni and to our students. After my freshman year, I was at IBM up north in San Jose. I then worked for Xerox and also SBC. So either past alumni or industry representatives who um, had strong partnerships with that organization, I was able to call on them, say, hey, I need a job, um, I'm looking for an internship, and, or even a full-time placement offer. And they were always able to help me out, send in my resume, let me know what opportunities were available to me.
My name is Enrique Baez. Um, I work for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and I received my bachelor's in uh, mechanical engineering from UCLA. Uh, what really sold me on, on going to UCLA was that I, I, I had heard a lot from people that you're going to a large university, you're going to be just a number. And I, I found that to be quite the opposite. I found um, a lot of uh, people were outreaching to me, the saying that, that I was just a number. Really, I didn't feel that at UCLA. I felt that I was part of a family. A lot of the times, too, when you get really stressed and when you really figure out that maybe I don't belong here on campus, which I've seen a lot of people break down and say they don't belong here anymore. I had that my first year as a junior. Um, uh, a senior talked to me. Uh, we just talked about being on campus and it, it really inspired me to come back and be a better engineer. I just had friends in every class and I had a network of support that I don't know if I would have been able to find at any other school. Study early. It was like second week. Um, all the sophomores were studying still. And all the freshmen were like, hey, why are you going? Let's go to Westwood. And, and they didn't really get it yet. But then when midterm came around, they really got it on the, the hard side, I guess. And then they started studying. So study early. Get to know your professors and you know they'll get to know you. You'll see their personalities and vice versa, and you'll see, you know, that they're just people too. Really, really smart people. Make friends who are in your classes, because it's nice to have people to bounce ideas off of and help you study. Always ask questions, because you're not always the only lost, lost one in the class, because I'm always lost. There are going to be smarter people than you, for sure. So, you know, there's going to be geniuses, and then there's you. Just try your hardest and just push through it, and you'll make it. The quarter system moves fast. Ten weeks can go by in a second. And also try and get involved with professor's research as soon as you can. Where did you come from? Romania. No, no. Well, well, what's oh, Berkeley. UC Berkeley. Ah, did you hear that? Uh -huh. Berkeley students come here. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's a time in your life where you really start to become an adult and you transition from, you know, being with your parents all the time where you're under their wing to now you're starting to spread your own wings and um, you know, become your own person. The opportunities are here for you to do whatever you want, whether it be research or work in the industry right away or internships. There's just a vast number of things that you can do from UCLA, and you can pretty much go anywhere. UCLA has a, has a great community from Westwood to campus, and there's opportunity everywhere. UCLA. 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 UCLA.